Hello and welcome to your race day update. I am Mike Neff. Tonight is back to school night at Myrtle Beach Speedway. And as many of the grade schools, high schools and colleges around the Southeast have started a new semester and a fresh start, we have a little different story here at Myrtle Beach Speedway. As we are coming down to the end of the season, this is one of the last chances for some of our racers to improve their grade before the end of their year. We have two races left after tonight before the granddaddy of them all, the Myrtle Beach 400 puts a period on the end of our racing season. This year's Myrtle Beach 400 will be broadcast nationally on MAV-TV. It will be broken down into two, two hour programs that will air in December. The 25th annual Myrtle Beach 400 is a must see event. It is so big, it carries over two full weekends of racing. The first weekend starts on Friday, November 11th. Pit gates open at 7 a.m. Practice for the Southeast Limited Late Model Pros and Challengers, along with Super Trucks and Mini Stocks, begins at 9 a.m. And then the 50 lap Challenger feature will take place at 4.15 p.m. Saturday, November 12th, pit gates open at 7 a.m. The 40 lap Mini Stock feature will take place at 2.45. The 100 lap super truck feature is at 3.30 and the Southeast Limited Late Model Pros will do 100 laps at 5 p.m. The second weekend starts on Friday, November 18th. Pit gates open at 7 a.m. Late model and modified inspection begins at 8.45 and late model and modified practice starts at 12.30. Saturday, November 19th, pit gates open at 7 a.m. Late model qualifying races take place at 2.45. Modified feature of 150 laps is at 3.45. And the late model feature all 225 laps starts at 5.15. Ticket info for the Myrtle Beach 400. You can visit the Myrtle Beach Speedway box office, log on to MyrtleBeachSpeedway.com or call 843-236-0500. This is the 25th anniversary of the granddaddy of them all, the Myrtle Beach 400. Coming into tonight's racing action at Myrtle Beach Speedway, there are two storylines you want to keep an eye on. First of all, the NASCAR Wheel and All-American Series National Points are in a dead heat. Myrtle Beach Speedway's own Lee Pulliam is tied for the lead with Trevor Huddleston. At this point of the season, every point counts, so keep your eye on Lee tonight. Also, in the Daytona 1 Beach Madness points, keep your eyes glued on Luke Sorrow and Brian Voss. In this matchup, Voss leads Sorrow by only nine points, and only the winner advances to the next round. Going in that 400 weekend in a lock-in spot is huge. I mean, it kind of saves you a set of tires that doesn't put as big of an emphasis on qualifying. Qualifying is big in that race, but knowing that you got a spot and you don't have to waste three sets of tires and you only need really one set to make a mock qualifying one, that's, uh, that's huge. So it'll be a lot good comfort zone for us moving into that weekend and hopefully we can just focus on winning it. How cool is it for Daytona 1 to help put this on and give you guys a way to uh, get into the 400 and save a little money? Man, it's awesome. Buck Parker and the guys at Daytona 1 has done an unbelievable job with the Speedway this year. Um, it's a did, definitely an added bonus for all of us guys, even the fans, and I think it's keeping them intrigued. And Hopefully, uh, we're like I said, we get in and we can give a, driver, a fan 2500 as well. All right, folks, that'll put a bow on our race day update. Gates open at 5, racing starts about 7.45. If you can't be here in person, make sure you check it out live on HTC Channel 4, htcconnect.com, or fanschoice.tv.